Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to talk about a topic which is very important in today's time and that is what to do when storms come into your life. As you all know, we are gripped by a huge pandemic which is the coronavirus or COVID-19 as we say and that is impacting lives in all spheres of life whether you're a student, whether you're a professional, whether you're a businessman, whether you're a housewife no one is out of the impact of coronavirus. So what to do when things turn bad? What to do when unexpected events happen in your life? What to do if you suddenly are faced with a challenge which you had never expected. So today I am going to share with you what one should do and especially how eagles you know look forward to the storms, how they wait for the storms and how they ride the storm to fly above the storm and eagles take rest when storms come in and they are looking for storms and when the storm comes in they try and maintain their wings at a height so that they go above the storms and then they take rest until the storm blows over so nothing in our life is permanent be assured everything in life will pass away and that's the message i want to share with you through this video listen and please There'll be sea time and harvest and cold and heat and summer and winter and there'll be day and night and these will never cease. God says as long as the earth remains there will be sea time and harvest time. There will be some dark nights but there will be days coming afterwards. There will be winter, it'll be cold but I promise you he says there will be summer. If you broke now I guarantee you can't be broke forever. If you're sick right now that's a season of sickness. Use your faith and say, God, I'm going to make it through this season. On the other side, this sickness is good health and good strong body. There'll be showers of blessing in what? Seasons, he says. In other words, seasons are controlled by God. That makes me very comfortable. Because whether it is raining or sunshine, God is in control. Everything is seasonal. That means that no matter what you go through, it cannot last. Seasons are important because seasons guarantee change, seasons give hope, nothing remains the same in a season, seasons are always temporary, and the key to life is outlasting the season. This is very important because when you are in a dark moment, sometimes you think that that's a permanent address. But never make a permanent decision to try and solve a temporary problem. Everything is seasonal. That's the encouragement of life. When you see a storm come in, I want you to understand the nature of storms. Storms are natural. Everybody say natural. Storms are natural. Storms are temporary. There's no permanent hurricane. There's no permanent earthquake. There's no permanent tsunami. There's no permanent cyclone. They are all temporary. Storms are always moving. Hurricanes, you hear them talk about a movie, seven miles per hour. 10 miles per hour, five, they're moving. Every storm in life is moving. Storm force change, that's important. Storms force you to change. Don't curse a storm. It comes to bring you back to your sanity. Storms confirm how strong you are. No matter how much you claim you got faith, storms will test whether you get it or not. Invite some storms to come into your life and show them how bad you are. Just show them how I'm going to stand and after having done all, I'm going to stand. Never trust the person who ain't survived nothing. Everybody could brag, but few of them can testify. Let me tell you something about the eagle. The eagle is the only bird that looks for storms. And it's the only bird that God identified with. The eagle is a strange bird and he's the king of birds. Here's why. Number one, the eagle is the king of birds because the eagle understands storms. Secondly, thirdly, the eagle looks for storms. It's the only bird that looks for storms. He, in the desert, 
you see an eagle gliding high looking for storms, sandstorms and, and cyclones. Why? Because the eagle welcomes storms. Why? Because the eagle flies toward the storms when he sees it. Now why would you do that? The answer is very simple. The eagle uses the storm to increase height. Number, number seven, the eagle uses the storm to rest. The eagle wing can be seven feet span. And when an eagle sees a storm, he goes into the storm, he lets the current of the storm push him up higher, and then he sets his pinions and he rests on the top of the storm. When the storm is present, the eagle rests. I'm an eagle. I want you to use every storm that comes. Someone just say amen right there. And I want you to tell the storm, I'm going to use you to go higher in faith, and I'm going to lock my faith on you, and I'm going to rest in the God who is the God of the storm. And when I finish using you, I'm going to let you just go on by. This is why you have to learn how storms work. Eagles do not fear storms. And I challenge you to be like an eagle, because eagles are the most successful birds in the world. So friends, I hope you liked today's video and it has inspired you to face any adversity, any challenge, any storm that comes into your life. And if you like the video, please press the like button, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you get notification of all future videos. Tune in for my next video. Thank you so much and stay blessed.